Last year, we met Leanne Williams, who was the first woman in Africa to fall pregnant with a unique ovarian tissue freezing fertility treatment after she beat cancer. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma just before I turned 21 years old. It was back in November 2004. I asked my doctor what are the possibility of, of, of me being able to conceive. And then he told me, um, look, the chances of conceiving after this chemotherapy are very, very slim. And I asked him what my options are, and, he, and that's when he referred me to the Cape Fertility Clinic, to Dr. LaRue. And Dr. LaRue then advised rather than removing the entire left ovary and then freezing it until such time when we are ready to, to want to be able to have um, babies. Dr. Paul LaRue is one of a handful of reproductive specialists in the world to use this treatment and considered quite a miracle worker by his patients. In Leanne's case, she had a condition called Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer where chemotherapy medication has to be given. And normally this will damage the ovarian tissue so that the patient can't have a child in future. In these cases, there are options to try and preserve fertility. One option is to extract egg cells and freeze them, but this involves IVF treatment, which is expensive and not available to everybody. Another option, which is more rare, is ovarian tissue freezing. This is where we do an operation and remove an ovary and cut the ovary into tiny strips that are frozen and then later re-implanted into the patient to restore her fertility. The problem with this technique is it's very difficult. There's lots of complex technology involved in order to get it right. And for this reason, even though many doctors have attempted it, there are very few success stories. Studies show that fertility preservation contributes positively towards cancer recovery as it gives patients a reason to live for and hope for the future. Dr. LaRue believes his success with Leanne is thanks to technologies working together. This is a modern IVF laboratory. In the IVF laboratory we extract eggs and we fertilize them to make embryos and we culture them and then place them back into the patient to make them pregnant. It's also the place that we can freeze tissue and in Leanne's case, we froze ovarian tissue. This is a liquid nitrogen container, and the tissue is kept in a small plastic vial and inserted into the nitrogen where it's kept at minus 196 degrees Celsius. It can be kept like that for many years. Amidst the media frenzy, for this young family, the pregnancy meant much more than just being a medical first for Africa. When I found this thing, I was very, very happy. When I went to go see Dr. LaRue and he confirmed the blood test because we found out with the urine test. And I was jumping and said, Ashton, we can have a baby. It was early in the morning. I, I called my mother at like 6 o'clock in the morning. I said, Mom, you're going to be a grandmother. And then, you know, we were just very, very grateful and very thankful. I felt during this whole journey with Leanne, with the chemo and everything, it was very overwhelming. It was traumatic, it's like a shock. But when we found out that we were pregnant, it was just exciting and it was just amazing. Yeah. And um, the fact that it's a boy, it's even better. <laughs> One year later, we visited Dr. Paul LaRue again to find out if this treatment has continued to have success and what the future holds for patients wanting the procedure. The procedure of transplanting ovarian tissue back into the pelvis to get a healthy pregnancy is difficult. So even in the international arena where many hundreds of patients have had this technique done, there have only been about 15 live births throughout the world. We were very excited about this case with Leanne because it's the first time in Africa that a patient has had this procedure done. Leanne and Ashton welcomed a healthy baby boy after a successful pregnancy. He and his parents are doing well and we wish them all the best for the future.